Okay. What is up, Amulet? It's me, Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV. And we are doing another group. I imagine this is another new group by Top Media. If you don't know who Top Media is, it's Shinwa's Andy's company. Yes, the youngest member of Shinwa. He has his own company, label company called Top Media. And that's where he molded groups like 100% and Uptension and also Team Top. So this is, looks like another group called MCND. It's called Top Gang. So this is the newest K-pop group that came up from his company and from his label. Um, to be honest, I don't know what to expect because all the groups, I'm not going to lie, all of their groups that has come up from Top Media has been nothing but amazing. I can't, you can't really say much or anything negative about these groups because these groups, I know one of the 100% members passed away, so he was really young, he was in his early 30s, so. So, okay, so we are going to do Top Gang by MCND. Three, two, one, go, go. I wonder how many members there are. Min Jae, Hui Jun, Win, Big, Castle J, Castle, okay. So it's like five members, five members. I like them already, oh my god. You can see, very different to any other groups from Top media. This is totally different from the others. Oh, yeah. I like them. It's given me a little bit of. Mad Town, a bit of BTS, a bit of uh, BAP, all in one group, and a little bit of, of NCT just in one group. In one group, just and this is only five members, so yeah. You know what, I'm, I'm proud of Ali being, you know, you never heard anything negative about his company. That was my itchy nose. Yeah, I like it. I enjoyed the, you know, it's colourful. Oh, it did bring me a little bit of top dog, all in one group, yeah, because they also did this type of... I haven't seen this kind of music video like this for a while, like this type of genre in K-pop for a hottest minute. It's been top gang. Well, it makes sense. It... Well done, you! MC ND. I can see some potential with this group. Just like most cable groups out there, when they start like this, you some of them go downhill because of their company. You have to remind, we have to remember that it's not because the group is crap. No, it's not that. It's just that 
most of these groups are mismanaged by certain companies, certain labels. They don't know how to, they don't, most of the time they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> most of these labels don't know what they're doing. That's, at least this is the truth. Um, you've seen it in Top Dog. Top Dog, when they first began, they start, they start so strong. And it's just such, they were such a good group when they were the 12, 13, sorry. And they were like supposed to be like the, the equivalent hip hop version, K hip hop version of Super Junior. That was the whole idea. And I remember they started so strong and they were, they were doing really good. And all of a sudden, one by one, members were leaving. And I was like, my first bias left, I forgot his name. Naktkar left afterwards and then Hansul, the best dancer out of the group, left as well. So we only got like, what, Zeno, Biju, uh, oh shoot, what's his name, the youngest one? Oh crap. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's like, I think they got like five members. Atom was the last member to leave the group. Now he's with JBJ97, I think, if it, I don't think it's 97, I think it's 95. Yes, JB95, that's what, that's what it's called now. It used to be JBJ, now it's JBJ95. And it's, it's it's so sad seeing these groups that how, and it, even with BAP as well, BAP was another amazing group. If you're an OG K-pop fan, you know what I'm saying is the truth. If TS Entertainment never mismanaged the groups that it, they have at the moment, or they had, in quotation, they had, none of the, none of these groups wouldn't do wouldn't sue them, none of the groups wouldn't disband, I mean BP disbanded and I was so upset that that happened. I was really, I was very, it was very unfortunate that happened and people were saying oh but no, most people don't know about BAP and most people don't know about Top Dog and it's just the company and because this new group is just new, it's, it, they, they're new. <laughs> And they just began with Top Media. I know that Top Media would look after the group because they were able to look after it 100%. Even though a lot of things has happened, two mem one of the members left, another member passed away, and the rest of the members are still together. They're still together, and they and they were able to manage really well with Teen Top. Teen Top has been with Top Media for the longest time as I can remember. And what's the other group that just um, Uptension. Uptension, another amazing group. They're still together. They're still 10. None of them has ever complained. None of them has sued this, this company for now because we all know. I think they know, they, they know who Andy is. They know where he came from, how he started as a K-pop idol because Andy, for those who don't know, Andy's from a, a very legendary group in K-pop called Shinwa. So for those who don't know, Shinwa first label that they were managed was actually none other than SM Entertainment. Yes. So when their contract expired with SM Entertainment, they all, all of them as a group decided to leave the company and go to the next next label. They went from the next label to different labels and then they decided, you know what? We've been in the industry for a hot minute. I think we deserve to have our own company. So each one decided to do their own thing. Uh, I think Minwoo did had a label, but that didn't last. I think he didn't know how to, it was very hard for him and he decided not to do it. He decided to leave it as it is. Being in the, in the they have their own label for the group for Shinwa's product for for Shinwa's comebacks they haven't done a comeback for the longest time I'm waiting for Shinwa to come back because when it comes to all their members come together and perform boy be ready yeah I'm ready um when it comes to Andy the youngest member of Shinwa Andy is the type of person to to be busy he's always busy he has his own company top media and Isbo has been successful, he's a successful man, and plus he's successful when it comes with Shinwa. 
and I think, oh shoot, what's the other one's name? <laughs> what's his name? And he's like, he's like the, like the, I don't know if he got married, but I think he's like the oldest. Let me just find his name. Let me just find his name. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Eric. That's his name, Eric Moon. So most people know who Eric Moon is. If you don't, Eric Moon is a K-pop idol. Shinwa, and he's also an actor. Yes, he's many. He has done so many K dramas throughout his career. I I lost count. And he's 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 cute. He's good looking. He's really good looking. And so yeah, I think yeah. I want I want to start watching some of his dramas because I know he has done tons of dramas. And I think he's got a new one just coming up this year. Yeah. Do, is anyone else doing anything other than that? Yeah, I don't remember the rest of them, what they're doing, but most of them are doing mainly like acting and modelling and they have their own label companies and they have the Shinwa company where they literally just is exclusively nothing but Shinwa comebacks. So I hope to God if it's 2020, I really would love to see a Shinwa comeback. And this group, I can tell they're going to be in good hands. Especially if it's with Andy from Shinwa. They're in good hands. They're in good hands. I don't think anyone has ever complained about Andy or anyone complaining about his company and the treatments of the... Or any mistreatments. Because I have not heard any mistreatments from this company at all. So with that being said, I love you all. And you're on everyone. And Sarah here.